Hello, how are you all doing on this fine day? Um, interesting one, I'm coming at you guys here. Now, something very English has just appeared. Now, I'm going to play a quick video, and you can just tell me, do you think this is a prison or a place for people to live? Now, it's a it's a valid question, all right? Don't judge before you've seen it. They might have really good facilities, all right? So I want you to tell me what you think that was. Is that a place for prisoners? Bad people to live? Away from society at sea? No chance of escaping? No! It's a floating hotel for asylum seekers. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in the UK, um, quite a few people, especially the racist ones, have a problem with people coming over from countries, you know, that have been torn by war, like Ukraine, Iraq, the Middle East, these sort of places. So, you know, the countries that have uh, much worse conditions than us we're not at war not struggling for food water etc so they come to england for a better life and not just england they'll they'll go to eastern europe uh, western europe whatever it may be sorry they, they they're just seeking a better life for them and their family what the english have decided to do now this this will blow your socks off is we decided to build a housing barge and leave them at sea so that when they come across basically they just have to sit there in this tiny prison like room now the bunk beds i mean look at that that looks disgusting so it's like here it, they we've just put them at the end of our country let like, you know don't want them anywhere near the actual people and it's it, it's literally like a floating fortress to keep a pretty I mean, look at that that looks disgusting <laughs> victims of modern slavery so they're coming here to escape their their predators, their abusers, and come to England for a nicer nicer life, ni nicer way of life, a better environment to live in. Okay, and we've decided to put them on a floating fortress that is at sea. It's called the Bibbidi Stockholm Barge, and they couldn't even come up with a good fucking name for it. It's embarrassing. It's pathetic. So around fifty people are on it at the moment. People refuse to do it. We have had um, a few challenges, but this is part of an ongoing structured process to bring um, a cohort of up to 500 people on board. 500 people on board it can fit. So 500 people, which isn't really... When you think there's thousands that come across, like how... Like what what do they do? So you're going to be stuck at sea. What about if you get seasick? What, what if you don't want to go on it? You don't like the sea, which is pretty normal. I don't mind the sea, but I, I tell you now, I wouldn't want to be in something like that. Obviously, it sets on fire. It starts sinking. This could be catastrophe. I'm telling you. So we've had... Um a small group of about 20, I believe, who refused to come on board. So, as I mentioned previously, um, accommodation is offered on a no-choice basis, and I can't go into the details of the specific legal proceedings for each individual. So you can't go into detail. Basically, they are detained and abused by border control. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude either, but, like, England is a white place. I mean, where the fuck would she be without asylum seekers? It's absolutely, you know, it's insane. I, I don't, understand, don't understand why she thinks it's okay for her to do this. And, you know, it's other people as well. But, you know, she's the director of asylum, uh, of asylum accommodation at the home office. So she's the biggest prick of them all. Um, with regards to security, and safety it's of absolute paramount importance to us as the home office anybody in our care needs to be looked after well so we've gone through um, and made sure that we're working really closely with um, Dorset fire and, and safety uh, so yeah it might set on fire but don't worry don't 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 you know don't get your knickers in a little twist don't think about it we've got fire engines on land so uh, don't worry we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to wave from you if you're uh, you're on fire certainly I mean it, it is ridiculous so people apply and then you get a play basically so there was more asylum seekers though in 2002 than there are now like what the fuck like, and who who works here there's got to be staff hasn't there who feeds them there'll be chefs i presume you know this is expensive like what what is the point of doing this hotels now housing 50,000 as seekers so it was 50,000 people were in hotels who were uh, housed you know asylum seekers see rushi sunak i don't know if you know who this guy is either but he's not exactly your typical you know leader he's a bit of a fucking wet wipe uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> he's not stopped the boats. In fact, he's made another boat. And it's not even a boat. It's a bloody prison on water. It's a raft on water. It's literally like the raft from Marvel shit. You know what I'm talking about. A secret little base facility for people to be in prison, cast aside. What happens if you want to go for a war? You can't. You fucking have to swim back to shore if you want that. 339 people crossed the channel on Friday. I mean, who, who counts this? How do you work that out? So it's 15,000 people. So if you think about it, 15,000 people, okay, so far in 2023, which is down by last year as well, by the way. It's gone down. However, their plan, their big brain idea, the ones who get the big bucks and make the money, uh, you know, in the government and fund and choose where our taxes go, they've decided they're going to spend, you know, it's probably not cheap, that barge, is it? For 500 people. 500. You would need 30 boats just to cover half a year so far. At least. I mean, I just don't think this is a big... Exactly. Imagine, you know, you, you, you de your family's dead. <laughs> Everyone you love is dead, brutally murdered, blown up, gone to war. Take your pick. Someone you know, tortured, kidnapped. You've managed to escape by the skin of your teeth. You're incredibly nervous. PTSD. You're probably shit scared of trusting people. And you come to a country promised of hope and there's the thing called the American dream. Go to America and you'll, you know, you'll do whatever. The British dream. Free rich tea biscuits with your cup of tea on all day. However, when you do arrive, you'll have to stay on a floating fortress at sea just so you can be accepted into our country. Like, what the fuck? As you can see, Twitter would be amazing. Bibby Stockholm. Fucking terrible name, for starters. Exactly, so they dis tortured victims among those the Home Office have attempted to put on the... So, literally, disabled people, uh, torture victims, people who have seen some horrible shit are being put on this Bibby Stockholm nonsense. Just embarrassing. Exactly, so it is literally like a prison. It's a floating prison. Okay. So it's only men. So up to 500 men. What the fuck? I mean, that's a... Why men? You know what I mean? One rule for them, another for everyone else. Fucking hell, that's sexist. Imagine if you said, oh, only women are on this. Be fucking livid. They'd be absolutely thrown a fit. Like 18 to 65. Imagine being an 18 year old, your family's dead and, you know, you come to a country where you think and you're promised all this, that, and you get put on a shithole. It looks like in a council estate housing facility. Like, it looks horrible. It looks like it's going to sink. And imagine that, 500 people on there. I guarantee you, half of them are dying. So it's previously housed oil and gas workers over severe fear of water. So some of them, you know, you can just say, I think you can actually say you don't want to go on it. <laughs> it's a valid point. How do you cross the channel and then say you're scared of water? Oh yeah, this woman as well. I wonder where she'd be without moving countries. I don't think she'd fucking be here. So it costs three grand per person per month. This is destruction waiting to happen. Oh, Jacob Rees Morgan is a fucking donkey as well. The worst guy ever. Honestly, if I had one bullet and it was Hitler and Jacob Reese Morgan or Jacob Reese Morgan, whatever his fucking name is, what I'd do is I would get a collateral kill, because I'm clever, but I would shoot Jacob Reese Morgan first, so I know he would definitely be the one to die. Do you understand? That's the type of man this guy is. Wi-Fi connections throughout! Look at that luxury living on board! Does that look like luxury living to you? Oh, it's alright, it's got a few nice little seats. Oh, you get plugs. That's kind of them. You get electricity, though. Oh, it's got a gym, though. It's got, tre it's got treadmills. Oh, you can get pissed as well. Fucking hell. I'll fucking live there. You don't have to worry about me, mate. I'll live there. Oh, come work for us. You can go fuck yourself, mate. So they, they, they have loads of these prisons. The Bibby Stockholm is a disaster waiting to happen. I love being right, but with this one, I don't think I really want to be. I thought it was men only. There's a woman there. What's your opinion on the um, the Bibby Stockholm? Apart from a shite name and poor, poor uh, facilities and looking like a shit dump. 500 people in that, it's going to be chaos. You let me know. Maybe uh, I think in England we're all just incredibly racist and we don't like people who are not crispy white. I think that must be it because I, I'm really confused as to why we thought this was a great idea and this was the way to uh, conquer refugees and people who are seeking asylum, you know, rightly so from war-torn countries, persecution, death. There might be, you know, gay people, lesbians, not accepted in their country so they come here and instead of that we say well you are accepted but not right now. 
now. We we might agree with your beliefs, but we don't actually want you here. Well, instead, we'll put you in the sea, so you f- you're not you know you can pretend you live in the UK, but you're not quite close enough. I mean, what happened? How long do they stay on a boat? What do they do? I, I honestly do believe this could be an uprising. You know, but imagine if everyone on the boat just suddenly goes fuck you and just takes over the boat. Who knows what you know? I don't know. We could just set up on fly fire and <laughs> everyone's dead. Well, that was a happy uh, happy end to a little vid for you. I mean, let's pretend I didn't end it like that, and we're just going to move on. But I really appreciate you here watching. Drop a like if you as confused as I am, and drop me a comment if you think this is a good idea. If it is, then uh, okay. Thanks for your opinion. Take care. Goodbye. Godspeed, guys.